Hey guys, Justin here. So in this video, we are going to read B is for Bangkok. Uh, it is written by Janet Brown and illustrated by Likit Q Kitty Sak Saktinan. And it's published by Things Asian Kids. So beautiful, beautiful street scenes on the cover here. I'm going to read the blurb now. The blurb gives you a little bit of context, gives you an idea, a little sneak preview of what this book is about. So let's read it. If you lived in Bangkok, would you ride on a boat to get to school? Learn to dance? with your fingers bending like melting chocolate bars? <laughs> Eat your breakfast on the street? Mm. Bring garlands of flowers to your spirit house? Snack on a luscious, spiky, stinky durian? <laughs> a day in the life of one of the world's most magical places unfolds in paintings drenched in the colour and non-stop motion of Thailand's capital city. From a monk's ble morning blessing to the scurry of geckos at night, from splendid temples to traditional canal houses, from glittering royal barges that bring history to life, <clears throat> to trains speeding past buildings that saw skyward. B is for Bangkok reveals the kaleidoscope facets of a city that makes every day an adventure for the children who live there or a dream of living there. So there you go. I like this motorcycle taxi guy on the back. Uh, uh, what number is that? I wonder what number that is. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Bangkok Skies. Second title page. Hong Kong. <laughs> here we go. In Bangkok, you awaken to a morning as quiet as a monk's blessing, murmured softly in thanks for the gift of breakfast. To work, to school, are you one of the thousands of people who crowd on buses subways or trains that whisk you through the sky? Sky train. Or do you go to school on a boat? <laughs> leaving your house on a canal? Do you go to school on a boat leaving your house on a canal? To travel along the river under bridges, old and new. Or maybe you ride a train that brings you to a beautiful Bangkok station, Hua Lampong Station. <laughs> Just don't take a taxi unless you like getting stuck in a traffic jam. <laughs> Many taxis are decorated with flowers and Buddha images for good luck, but that doesn't keep them from standing still for hours. There we go. Garland. <laughs> Taxi driver. Though. Policemen try to keep cars moving. Some of them even dance as they signal to the traffic. It's true. <laughs> but they're dancing around the police officers. In a hurry, 
Breakfast waits for you on the street. Fruit, fried bananas, little coconut milk cakes. Mmm, roy mark, roy mark. Oh, 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 noodle, noodle. If you can't finish your breakfast, the streets, dogs and cats will be happy to help you. <laughs> Soy dogs, 7-Eleven dogs. At school, you're taught to dance like this. Your fingers learning to bend like a melting chocolate bars. <laughs> Maybe you'll play to crawl at recess. Don't touch the ball with your hands. Yeah, well, <laughs> I hope not. Maybe you'll play. In November, your teacher shows you how to make floats covered with flowers and candles and sticks of incense to put in the river at night on a special day called Loi Kretong. Loi Kretong there. Beautiful. Mm? Yeah. On your way back home from school, you can buy flowers. Oh, and fruit. And fruit. To bring home. Oh, and fruit. To bring home for the spirit house that protects everyone in your home. Spirit house. Yeah. This is a sacred tree that people wrap with colourful scarves. You can give it some of your flowers. <laughs> yeah, cool. Want an after school snack? How about some stinky, delicious durian? <laughs> if it isn't a school day, you can play in Lumpini Park. <laughs> Or you can go to Chatterchuck's Park, Chatterchuck Park's weekend market, of course. Must go there if you're in Bangkok. A Thai massage will loosen you up. Lunch at a fancy hotel is a special treat, and the receptionist will greet you in a special way. Sawadika. Lots of fancy hotels in Bangkok. After lunch, it's fun to walk around the city. Yeah. <laughs> Bangkok is always changing. So true. So true. These construction workers transform the city, working all day and sometimes all night too. That's true. Amazing. Bangkok. If you're very, very lucky, maybe you'll see the golden glittering royal barges on the river floating slowly, stopping time. Wow. It's like stepping back in time. Get lost in Chinatown, and you're sure to find your supper. At the end of every day, Bangkok becomes a garden of brilliant coloured lights. And geckos come out to play, watching over the city while you sleep. Geckos. And that is the end of B is for Bangkok. Next couple of pages of the book have all of the different panels that go to make up the book. There's also a beautiful map of Thailand in there, Mr. Gecko. And a little bit of information about Q Lickett, who is an artist, photographer and architect. Q Lickett 
was born and raised in Bangkok and loves to share his city with people who long to know it as he does. The city. Oh, there we go. Cute. Okay. And the book, as I mentioned earlier, is printed by Things Agent Press. Beautiful edition. Lovely uh, cover. Great for rereading again and again. So, guys, that's B for Bangkok. It's written by Janet Brown. My name's Justin, and I'll see you in the next video.